for them. A team of health care providers in the Tri-State is saving lives with the help of a revolution in care. It works against a life-changing brain injury. Liz Bonas introduces us to a woman who says without it, she would not be alive. They were at home watching a movie when suddenly Ron Bird heard his wife Bobby make a strange sound even though she'd fallen asleep. I tried to pray for her and I couldn't. It's like God said, this isn't time to pray. This is time called 911. That call and eventually the doctor who got called in, Bobby has no doubt. He saved my life. He really did. Dr. Andy Ringer told me he just happened to be on call that night. He's a neurosurgeon at Mayfield Brain and Spine. As he headed in to try Health's Good Samaritan Hospital, he asked for the patient's name. And when he came across, I thought, oh my goodness, I know that name. By the time he came in to greet Ron Bird, who was in a waiting room at the hospital. And thinking to myself, uh, this isn't real. I said prayer and I said, Lord, I said, I, uh, I know you're here. I've had a relationship with you and I know you're here. And I said, but I need some reassurance that this is going to be okay. And about 20 minutes later, uh, Andy come walking in. He said, I'm Andy, Mindy's husband. Believe it or not, Mindy is Dr. Andy Ringer's wife. The person he was about to see in crisis was his very own Aunt Bobby. As Andy showed me on these images, it turned out Aunt Bobby had had a massive stroke or injury to the brain. We needed to be aggressive, we needed to be fast, we needed to uh, be able to get a hold of the blood clot and actually pull it out of the artery to restore the blood flow. And if there was ever an answer to Ron's prayer, Dr. Ringer just happens to be one of just a handful of surgeons in the country trained to perform a breakthrough stroke treatment to do just that. After injecting a dye into the arteries to see on imaging where Aunt Bobby's blood flow was blocked, Dr. Ringer used a breakthrough tool like this one to remove the blockage from her brain. It is called a stent retriever. As this animation, courtesy of Stryker, shows, Dr. Ringer can go up through the groin area with what's called the balloon guide catheter. It helps control blood flow once they find the area blocked off. He can then use the retriever to remove the clot. In some patients, uh, probably a minority, maybe 20 or 25 percent of patients, even beyond six hours after the onset of their stroke symptoms, we might still be able to reverse the major effects of the stroke. What's more is that Dr. Ringer says in some patients, even beyond this time, with this breakthrough treatment, there may still be an opportunity to restore that blood flow and restore function. And because strokes are one of the leading causes of disability, this could have a significant impact on health care across the United States. And Bobby knows the impact and is still recovering months later. But she says thanks to her nephew, Andy. I know that there's someone there with me and, and God is there with me always. Liz Bonus, Local 12.